Hey, what's up guys? It's Derek from the Baseball Channel coming at you again today with yet another video. And today it's actually going to be a review on this year's Frost Glove batting gloves and throwing gloves. I did do a similar video last year, but this is a new product. It is different. So I'm making another video this year and I'm really excited to get into it. Um, I guess first things first, it's probably about 40 degrees outside right now. And this is when the gloves really are perfect. I'd say anywhere between 30 and 50 degrees, these gloves are absolutely a must. I'd say under 30, it's probably so cold you're going to be miserable anyway, and the gloves won't do you a ton of good. But if you're tough, if the cold doesn't bother you, then go ahead and use them under 30. Over 50, I think you're probably good with regular batting gloves. But I will say there are a lot of days in between that 30 and 50 degree range where I've been using these and liking them a lot. And instead of having one more distraction while I'm trying to focus on fielding or hitting or throwing, whatever, um, there's one less distraction. I'm not worried about having cold hands or anything of that nature. If I get jammed, it's really not going to kill my hands because it's so freezing cold. Uh, with a throwing glove, I can completely feel the ball as I'm throwing. Um, so that's really great, great stuff. Um, just quickly, the design of the batting gloves. So this color, it's white and black with white and black digi camo. The frost glove logo there, um, frost gear along the wrist strap, a little bit more digi camo on the fingers. So this is a pretty similar color to last year. I think they also have a black one which looks pretty good. And these batting gloves are only $30 and they do have sales. And I mean for batting gloves that's a great deal and especially these because they're so warm. And now one thing with these gloves last year they were really really thick so this is last year's glove it is really similar but this almost looks like a goalie's glove in soccer um, and you, you can kind of see the difference just look at the fingers um, this one on my hand versus this one completely off my hand so this one is a little bit warmer but it's so thick it's hard to do much you can barely feel the bat in your hand even though your hands are warm so it is nice to have warm hands but at the end of the day you still have to be able to play baseball and I do feel like this was a little thick but now these ones they're much thinner they feel a lot more like a traditional batting glove just with the warm fleece liner inside which is really great and really effective so another thing because these are thinner it's a lot easier to put your hand in a glove so if you want to use this under a baseball mitt it slides right in and you can still use it just like that. Now I'll go ahead and show you with this bigger glove on. All right, so right here with the big glove on, you see I'm trying to put it in, and that's really all I can get. I don't really want to shove this in and stretch my glove out because it's super unnecessary. You get the point. The new ones are a lot thinner. Um, you can see the two side by side. Um, it's really, it's night and day. It honestly is. So uh, I'm really happy that they did that. That was actually one of my only complaints last year. I mean, the quality is great. The feel is great, they're super warm, and that was my one complaint. They just, they're too thick, it's hard to make them usable. And they went back and they fixed it, they worked on their product, and they came out with this, which I think is awesome. And especially only for $30, I think that's a crazy deal. Um, just because of how expensive batting gloves are right now, um, these definitely do great, and especially for the cold. Anyone who doesn't have an indoor facility at all hours in the winter, I really recommend these. Uh, if you're not playing, way in the south or southern California, you're probably going to need to get outside in the cold. You don't want your first time to be throwing when it reaches 60 degrees. Um, so I really recommend getting something like this. And then since I'm on the topic of throwing, not just hitting outside, um, this is the throwing glove. Now this is really similar to last year's. They did rebrand it with the um, frost glove logo there. And again, this is similar. The throwing gloves are really thin. Um, you can feel the ball pretty well. And then here you see you have the, the grip on your two fingers and your thumb. Now as far as using this in a game, it's completely legal for anyone except for a pitcher. Obviously pitching with a glove, you know, not really allowed. But if you're doing a bullpen on your own, you can absolutely do it. I will say you can't really feel the seams, obviously, but you can grip, set your pitch grip and then throw it. That's what I do, just playing catch, it works fine. You can totally control the ball, throw it just as far, there's no no difference there. The only thing is you can't feel the seams. So one thing like fielding a ground ball can be a little hard because you're not feeling the seams as you're adjusting it in your glove. But I don't think that's a big deal because if your hands are cold, they're going to be numb and you can't feel anything anyway. So this definitely keeps your hand warm while you're throwing. And I've had a lot of days this winter where I wanted to throw. I put on a hoodie, put on a windbreaker, um, 
threw on some sweatpants and my hands would have been cold, put on the frost glove here, put on the batting glove under my mitt, and it was good to go, no problems, no questions asked. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend these. This throwing glove just comes one for your throwing hand, and this is $20, which again, really good deal. 30 for the batting gloves, 20 for the throwing glove, and they do have sales, Black Friday, Christmas, stuff like that. They always have sales, and also they do have some apparel. They did send it to me um, to try out along with the gloves, but guys, this isn't sponsored. They're not paying me to say this stuff. I, I really do like their product, support their product, use their product, everything like that. This isn't me talking because they paid me to. Um, so there is apparel. I do think it's pretty nice. It looks good. It feels good. Um, you can work out in it, play baseball in it. I definitely recommend going ahead and checking out their website. It is fgbaseball.com. I'll put that right about here, somewhere up, down, I don't know. Um, it will be on the screen. I'll put it down in the description box below. I do recommend checking it out, giving it a look, seeing if there's anything you like. Maybe for next winter. I know the spring's rolling around now. But I absolutely think it's a really good product. My gloves from last year have all held up perfectly. There's not a seam popping, nothing like that. I think the look is great. All right, guys, so now I'm actually just going to take a little bit of tea work, just show you a little bit with these gloves. I know you guys know how batting gloves work, but I figured something a little different to put in the video. Maybe you guys might want to see the swing. I'm sure you might let me know how terrible it is now in the comments. Don't really mind. Um, say what you want to say. Thank you. All right, I'm just going to hop right into that. All right, guys, so I am going to go ahead and start hitting now. In case you were wondering, I'm using the Rawlings Quattro Pro. I just unboxed this a few weeks ago on my channel. I've really been liking it. This sounds great, feels great. Really excited to use it this year. Um, and again, here are the gloves right on my hands. I'm really, really happy with these gloves. I definitely think they did a really good job with them. I think they look good. I like the new logo, everything like that. So without further ado, I'm going to go hit. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, fgbaseball.com. Um, batting gloves are $30. Throwing gloves is $20. Really good deal. Really high quality product. It, it will keep your hands warm on a cold day. I definitely recommend it. Some of those early season practices and all winter off season workouts, stuff I do alone outside with the team, whatever. These definitely make one less issue and I really have no complaints with them. Only good things. So again, fgbaseball.com, go ahead, check them out. Also, my own thing, my TBC bracelets, if you guys are interested, it's bigcartel.tbcstore.com. Go ahead, check them out. Links to both things will be in the bio. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and play ball. This is the Baseball Channel.